we need stories、um, to be told. Just like you know, all my life I think is an important story. We need more stories that hopefully have a message of hope, or even just a message、uh, to forget about whatever's happening for two and a half hours, you know, whatever it may be, or to find relatability in, in things. Average person lives twenty-seven thousand three hundred seventy-five days. That's all we get if we're lucky. We just want to come over and say hi. That first night we were standing at your door. I am usually very witty and charming. Bring it. All right. Did you think that's that worse? Was, that was bad, completely worse okay, than okay. the. How about this? No,、time? abort. <laughs> Collective. I, I did a drama class. Really had fun. Connected with a lot of people. You know, just, just had fun acting like other characters. And it just, I never, it never processed as、um, something as a career or something I could take further than an elective. Then dance.、Uh, it started in high school, where I, I was dared to audition for the dance team, and I made it. And we were just good music video mimickers. So we'd watch music videos, just try and learn the dances, and when they cut away, we'd be like,、uh, "I think they do this," and you know. So, well, so it said a lot of like how how that training happened for、um, kind of acting in a way that in the beginning it was about like mimicry, and then realizing like, well, well that's not that doesn't cut it anymore. You need to know about the person, what what. what Doing the proper research and then filling in between the、uh, the spaces where there's nothing written, and that's your job to kind of uh, uh, really as, make it as whole as possible and authentic as possible. It, it became uh, uh, something that I just I feel like I needed to do, and it was never something I, I did it by knowing that I I, I had to go down this path.、Uh, I've just been so lucky to have these opportunities here、uh, left and right to. To to play these different characters, small and large, and 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 ones that that have actually effectively changed me as as a human being. So, hey, if we get bad news, we should get a dog. Don't say that. We're getting good news. I saw the wedding video the, the,、um, of Jen Carter and Solomon Chow, and、uh, I believe it was 2014. You know that was making its wave、uh, on, on the internet, and and hearing the story and, and published in the newspaper in Toronto newspaper, and it was just heartbreaking. And you, but you see the the generosity of people. You know, you didn't get to know too much about their intimate. Parts of their life, and it was more the generosity of the people. And you're like, this is a heartwarming story, as tragic as it was. Todd Rosenberg wrote this script that ended up on the blacklist. You know, it, it made its waves, and and people that I've spoken to, and not even just for myself, just、uh, were really affected by the script, and 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 myself included. Jessica Roth was tapped to to play、uh, Jen Carter. I was like. I, I need to be part of this, and then having a, I had a chemistry read with, with Jessica because that was, I think, the most important part is to make sure that the, the, Jen and Saul on the movie, you were able to, it was able to jump off the screen there, the, the, the love that they had, having that chemistry read with someone like Jessica who is uber talented and incredibly generous made me feel so comfortable. Before I was nervous, and then when you get into the room with her, it just felt. Like at ease, and we got to just be, and that that was just really, really beautiful. And I'm really thankful for that because I think it started this beautiful trust that we had in the beginning. You want to do as much research as possible, and and you know, luckily we had、uh, Jen Carter, the、uh, the real Jen Carter, open herself up to to us. You know, she is the rock of the story. What was really Really brave, I think, of of Jen is is what she told Jessica that, you know, I know this is very intimate moments in my life, but I don't want you to feel like you're trying to play me. I just want you to not be holden to what you kind of know about me. It's more like this: you should have freedom to,、uh, however you want to,、uh, get this message across of of our love and our moments together. And that was really really freeing, as I think as as an actor, because sometimes you're like, well, are we making a biopic? Or are we making a slice of life? This well, what are the important parts of of this story that we need to tell in you know less than an hour and a half? For me, for for Saul, is just to 
get the essence of what he believed in and how he was as a person when faced with something that was is so difficult to um, to deal with and to manage. That's when you get to really know the heart of who someone really is, right? What they, how they react to in, in, in front of the situation. That was my biggest takeaway. It's like, okay, if I can infuse that into this character, all the other things will kind of come about from the things that I've learned, uh, from stories that I've heard. That experience has uh, changed me coming out of it in a lot of ways and how I look at life and and how I um, I would face uh, adversity and, and, and anything that comes my way. This movie, it's it's it was really special for us to make. I think it was one of our like first two weeks of shooting, so we just got to know each other uh, really really well. And I think those were my favorite moments is when you that's when you know oh is, is this chemistry as as a whole as a cast going to work? And I think that's when we knew and. A lot of the cast members and the crew, the, more importantly, I think like the crew sometimes is meaningful and sometimes not. But this particular one, I had so many crew members come up and say like, uh, I'm either going through something like this or I have family that's went through this. I signed on because it means a lot and I want to I want it to have the best support possible in the technical spaces as well as the storytelling aspect. So it was this film was made with a lot of love and, and, and I hope the, that love is received uh, by people. You make me feel like I can do anything. We can do anything. It's a message of hope. You know, it's a, it's a message of of there is a strength inside of you. You just have to have either the the, uh, the will in yourself or the people around you to, to really pull it out in a supportive way. But I, I'm also curious to see like what people do take away from it. You know, I, I think that's the, the beauty of, of, of films is that, you know, there's a conversation between audiences. Sometimes they tell me things where I'm like, I didn't even think about how that affected certain people in different ways or a certain scene, like specifically talking about you know, cancer uh, warriors, like, like, or, or the caretakers jumping through hoops and, and obstacles to, to just get to know yourself better and to know that you could be that better person if just given an opportunity. We've done our, our job and, and now it's everyone else's movie now. We need stories um, to be told, just like, you know, all my life, I think is an important story. We need more stories that hopefully have a message of hope or even just a message uh, to forget about whatever's happening for two and a half hours, you know, whatever it may be, or to define relatability in, in things. And, and I, I think right now the industry is in a change and now it's figuring out who's going to adapt, who's going to figure out ways, creative ways to keep telling stories. Uh, while still managing to keep everyone uh, uh, safe so we can keep doing more. Got to feel, got to feel a little bit of the plants, a little bit of lights. Uh, you know, I've been missing. I just came back from Vancouver uh, shooting last night. So it's, I'm back in sunny California right now.